Okay, hi, I'm Dan Albergetti, and I'm making this video for my Cisco students who are taking uh, Cisco One, and we're going to talk about subnetting today, and hopefully it'll make the whole process of uh, finding your subnet so that you can do well on a Cisco exam a lot easier, and uh, so we'll go over that right now. Okay, well first of all, let's start off with why we need to even learn this in the first place. Um, I'm going to take a network here. An address 194.168.1.25. Okay, so there's an IP address, right? Let's just agree. We have to get our starting point of an agreement. First of all, this is a uh, IP address, IP version 4. It's 32 bits, 32 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits, and 8 bits. Okay. The numbers can range from uh, 0 to 255 in each of these octets. So 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits makes a 32-bit address. Now normally, with uh, an IP address like this, when we start talking about subnetting, what we want to talk about is the subnet mask, or the net mask. And so for this situation, the subnet mask is usually something like this, which is a classful subnet mask for this type of IP address. Now, if you have a situation like this, right, we want to find out what is the network or what is the subnet, but it really hasn't been subnetted if it's classful. And in this case, the network is 194.168.1.0. Right, so I don't really call that a um, a subnet. More, I like to call it more just like a network. And this, instead of being a subnet mask, is what I like to call is a network mask. Why? Why is it a network mask? Because this mask is classful. It's got two five five two five five two five five dot zero, and that is a classful. Class C subnet mask. Okay, so the networks in this case, the network is 194.168.1.0. But if I was to change this and say 194.168.6.25, then the network, the higher order bits or the network portion where the 255s are located, the um, network would be 194.168. 6.0, right? So the um, network changes according to that. So let's say, let's look at another classful subnet mask or net mask. If I go like this and put this as a zero, now the network in this situation, 255.255.0.0 would be 194.168.0.0. 194.168.0.0. Dot zero. That would be the network address. Okay? Alright, that's a class B subnet mask. Alright? And if I was to change this to 255.0.0, it would actually be a class A subnet mask, and the network would change to 194. The network address would change from 194.0.0.0 would be the network address. Why? Because the 255s, 255 lets us know where the network, uh, what the network is. So this would be the 194, basically the 194 network. Now, if I change this to 200, then this is the 200 network, right? And that means the network address is 200.0.0.0. Now, the first usable host in this network, the first address that you can assign would be 200.0.0.1. That would be the first usable host that you could assign in that network. Okay? All right, once again, we change it. We say, this is now 
255-25500, making it a class B subnet mask. Now the network is 200.168.0.0. And if you wanted the first usable host, it would be 200. Dot one six eight dot zero dot one. The last address in this network would be two five five dot two five five. That would be the last usable um, host or the last usable address in this network. And it actually isn't usable. This would be what we call a broadcast address. So it's actually not usable. It's reserved for broadcasts. Okay. So, so far, what we're looking at are net masks, network masks. There are no, it's so far, not really subnets. So, let's get now into the situation of why we need subnets and when we need subnets. Okay, let's say, let's say that you're given a network and you've bought this IP address. One night you're the owner of 200.168.6.0. You own this, I don't know, this network address, right? It's your, you own the 200.168.6 network, all right? So this is your network, right? And it's got a 24 bit subnet mask or class C uh, network mask. Okay? So this is your network you own. Okay. But in your network you've got two routers connected to each other and you want to make one, two, and three networks coming off of two routers, but you have to use, let's say, this number scheme. In other words, it has to be 200.168.6 network. Well, in this situation, the hosts in this scenario would go from 200.168.6.1, that would be your first host, all the way down to 200.168.6.254, right? And you'd be stuck with 254 usable hosts all in the same network. But in this scenario over here, where you want to make one, two, three networks out of this, you're going to need to subnet this network. You're going to need to subnet this network. In other words, break it up into smaller networks, okay? You need to break it up into s smaller networks. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. The way you do that is by changing around your subnet mask and borrowing bits from the host portion. This right here is called the network portion, the 255s, and the zero is called the host portion. So in other words, this is 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's stop this video and finish it in the next movie.